putting out a lot of work and you're definitely going to be around uh, for afterwards. Ajax has that Marvel level hype. I came from the FGC, that's, that's why. I, I came from the FGC, that's why. I'm, I very much been, I, I used to play Mortal Kombat, Soul Calibur, Marvel. I have been born and bred and all that and that's basically what brought me into this. I will will go ahead and say that my favorite thing to be to see on Twitter is like someone going like, "Man, Xanadu seating sucks. Juice box seating is so much better." Because I do both of them. <laughs> like it, it's the same guy, stupid. All right, so getting into this next game, honestly, I'm kind of fearing for Ajax's yeah, life. Play, do you play Uni? Huh? You play Uni? Uh, no, but I have watched people play it. However, that is all over my music playlist. Getting into this next game, though, I'd love to hear on the night rebirth music in this game. But here we go. It That's is true. going to be Atata versus uh, Cloud, which is not an unfamiliar matchup for Atata because of that history with Ned. So Anthony's got to be very aware that the range of the sword doesn't necessarily mean the matchup's just going to be won because Ness can do a whole lot to this character off stage in particular and anthony's got to make sure that he capitalizes on the moments where he can which right oh, there that's dead. just that so the that's the thing when you talk to like literally any nest player and you ask them what matchups does nest lose it's swords it's disjoints nest hates <laughs> disjointed characters in it oh my goodness he's going for he wants revenge for his fallen chicago comrade man <laughs> Not, you know, I mean, that and also Atata is just a nut. This man goes in, he looks for the big plays, he looks for the clips. If you see, like, something spicy on Twitter, it's a very high likelihood that you see either him or Syrup. And he just keeps it up. And now with two stocks up, you best believe there will be a PK Thunder 2 attempt in center stage at some point. Because he's got a whole stock to play with it. Or he's just going to get that back air into grab. That's 42% already off the bat. And he's got Anthony trapped on ledge. He's still living through these back airs and all. Misses the blade beam and oh my god, he actually gets hit by that there. 74% Atata is out for blood, man. Yeah, and you know what? I mean, we did see. Oh, run. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't even bother. Leave that PK flash. Leave that PK flash alone. But we did see Anthony was capable of getting that reverse 3 0 before. Problem is here, there's a kill throw on deck for one of these two characters. So even and though. They you yeah, exactly. So you got to watch out. You basically need to play perfect from this point forward because if you get anywhere near close to 120, then you're likely to just not be able to shield camp anymore. You're forced to actually play the game. Oh my god, the aggressive parry into falling up air and then one mistake, but still. It, Anthony basically says when he's from, like, when he's actually from behind, like, all right, all right, now it's time to play. Anthony tried. <laughs> okay. It's out of with that landing there, and this is looking... He really just went for that dare there, Ajax. He really just went for that. This should be a setup for a kill at least. Okay, thank oh you my for God, not getting up in that. I've, I've, I've seen dudes get up into that. And, and the scary part is because he's a, he's plus 100. So if he didn't time that perfectly, he would have died. Because if you just stay there at ledge, you don't have that much invincibility at that point. And look at Atatai's at at barely been able to hit him. There we go, though. The... Uh, 150% and the aggressive side B coming back to stage. This is, however, kill throw windows, but dash attack is going to take. No, he's not good. DI coming in from Anthony. <laughs> okay, Anthony gets the uh, the full hop over, landing fair on a Tata. Gets the up B off the ledge, too. One... Oh, okay, there it is. Never mind. You mentioned it earlier. Yep. Ajax, go ahead. Go ahead and repeat yourself. Yep, 120% plus you're viable to die the back throw and GG's. This and he had so many smart options covered too. He was trying to punish Atata for a jump fair from the ledge, because you know, I mean that's that's a majority of what you'll see out of a Ness anyways, right? But he's been so aggro from ledge, tried to go for a reverse fair for a spike, and Anthony still kept playing like he didn't have kill percent on board. So even though Atata was able to get those very large leads, he better get it again. He better get it again and fast because Anthony was making that doable even after that large lead. Let me go ahead and point out where we have a little bit of a low Melty Blood is hype as hell. I love Melty Blood. <laughs> when's Marvel? When's Marvel? Never. No more hey, Marvel. Hey, chat. Hey, chat. Chat. When's, when's, when's Marvel, baby? That's all I'm saying. When's, when's Marvel? What's Marvel? We're, all right, we're gonna go. Okay, we can gonna, say that. Yeah, we're, we're, gonna tap, we're gonna tap on the microphone now. All right. Here we go. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Uh, next. On into my the mic, next game. Huh? I'm, I'm tapping on my mic. You hear it? <laughs> no, actually, I can't. <laughs> it's a good microphone. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Uh, this, this is basically. It's kind of stunning. Oh my goodness! Double fair attempts. 
This man is beating this small child with a 16-foot sword. Nobody knows how he's holding on to it. And here we go. He's batting him around. He cannot land. Can you touch the ground? Nobody can. Well, you, my my co-caster just turned into like a night. Oh my god. <laughs> what are you on, my friend? Because you are actually ridiculous. Who goes for that there? I mean, look, this man is just so smart. He just does not wait a single second. Yes, we will definitely be playing Strive in this house, but this man is just so, he's just so aggressive. He basically plays off stage like he, like he just doesn't care. He <laughs> can't, can't Ajax commentate. I, look, it's had it, 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 to the ledge. He catches Anthony. Oh, I can't do that voice for very long. Oh my good, good dash attack there. Yeah, he found him on his way down, no, and then he up, swung him out of the up, stage up, so he could go ahead and talk to Jimmy's mom. All right, so here we go. <laughs> I hate you. Wait. Oh my god, this is how this night is gonna continue for me at this point. So here we go. That was the Watch greatest it. Carl impersonation I've ever heard in my life. Oh my god. Yeah, you know, I got quite a few of them on deck. You want me to go ahead and commentate that back no. right there? <laughs> you can solo commentate. I'm out. No, I'm done. I'm, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm laughing too hard to pay attention oh, to it. I'm done. I'm about to take this stuff here. Anthony's at 150. Yeah, he gets up into that yo-yo charge for the up smash, and he's just going to die there. Yeah, pretty much. I can't wait to see, like, them going back to watch this later. Just like, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> All right, here we go. Watch out. Going for that. Oh, I like that. He was trying to cover air dodge away with the side B. He knew that he was going to be forced to basically go on defensive option. Oh, my God. That would have been so smart if he caught him on the way down. He was looking for, like, a footstool down there or something like that. After does advantage state control is so good. Watch yourself on your way back in. He forces the jump, and now he's going to punish him for the early climb hazard. Now things are going to get rough, and then he tries to read the jump again. This dude is insane. Aid. But it's had it. He gets the parry out of that situation, and he's gonna keep up the pressure. The PK flash isn't going to do anything, but guess what is? That back throw. It's going to not kill quite yet, but it puts Anthony Mc isn't cool. I almost called him Anthony McCool in an <laughs> awful position. He gets caught by that fair on his way back to stage. Atata takes game two again in such dominant fashion. Oh my god, you know what just made me crack up? I looked in chat and somebody said, he's even impersonating last. It's like, <laughs> when you're talking, when you're talking, it's just me. <laughs> yeah, it actually has been solo commentating this whole time. Oh my god. So yeah, you know, oh, here's like some things. <laughs> I like yeah, Ajax. I like Sharp's idea. Uh, I'll do the the 1970s play-by-play, -play, and for color, you do Carl Weezer. <laughs> oh my God! Hell no, Peter. Hell no. I put no. no damn respect on that. I ain't touching that because we're we're a family-friendly nation right here. All right, it's time to see some ass whooping. So here we go. Getting into the next game, we got Attack going up two on to it. Oh wait, I'm supposed to be Carl. Yeah, so we're getting into this next game, and Attack is <laughs> you know he's he's just going right back in, and you know I mean he doesn't look as cool as Judy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is the greatest commentary I've ever heard. <laughs> Somebody please clip this. <laughs> oh my god! I can't. I can't breathe. <laughs> it's so funny. Literally, there's been nothing but commentary discourse on like all of Twitter the past two days, and here I am just being Carl Weezer the entire Carl Weezer the entire time. I wonder what Dre's gonna think of our commentary, bro. Uh, I actually, I like Dre and stuff, so I think you'll find that. Oh no! I also like Atata, but my dude, it just, it just doesn't leave him alone. I'm li I have literal tears coming down my face right now. By the way, I can't even lie. I can't, I, so I'm actually I. crying. <laughs> My face actually hurts from laughing this much. Anthony uh. gets a really nice back air off the ledge, and Atat is going to lose that stock. So he's keeping this one a little bit more even than the last few games have been, but Atat is still at least firmly in the driver's seat. Anthony whiffing that limit break cross slash, and Atat is not going to let that one go unpunished. Yeah, that's right. Now, look, I mean, I don't know what the hell going on here. Like, I'm sitting here watching these two kids just swing around. Like, what the hell is this giant man beating on this little child? Please for? stop. <laughs> Like chat, chat, I literally live in the middle of Tennessee. Like I'm ten miles, I'm ten miles away from Nashville. My entire high school class, they all talk like this. 
Hey, like all my coaches, all my teachers, they all they all had the thick southern accent. We all it was it was hell to live through, and oh my god, a Tata gonna land that PK flash right there. I mean, look at it just like when my cousin Billy set off fireworks right next to his feet. Now I tell you, this man don't walk around anymore, but this man is still moving like a champ. Now here we go, go we'll push him off to the side, catch him with them double fares. Oh, he's a swinging. He tried to look for the down here, but you know what? He's a uh, he, he's gonna stand out. This, so sound, this, sound, this sounds this like if most... Doug Dimmodome tried to do commentary. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, and he's dead! <laughs> Atata finishing off the 3 0 in style while the two of us are just dumbasses in the commentary booth. GG's. That's Atata moving on to losers' Wait, finals. Uh, I gotta read this one. Real American dare with Ness Dash true American pride, brother. <laughs> Like, I I'm sorry, Atata and Anthony, you both played fantastically, and us two dumbasses turned that guy that block.